Alright, alright guys, welcome back to another video. This is Vlogmas Day number 4 guys. And today I have some nice roasted Cornish hens right here. Now these don't take long to cook at all. Very easy to prep. So let's jump into this video and I'll show you how it's done. Okay guys, so here's what all I'm going to be using here. These are my Cornish hens. These came two in the pack for ten dollars, and I have a, a Granny Smith apple here. Um, this is gonna be my thyme leaves, and I'm gonna be using my Uncle Steve competition bird shake, my Uncle Steve the spicy herb, and I have some seasoning salt, and I also have some black pepper. And I have a onion and half of a green and red bell pepper. Alright guys, so I have my Cornish hands washed up. And I have them patted dry. Now let's add our seasonings to this. Start with some black pepper. Alright, then I'm going to come in and add my Uncle Steve's shake, the spicy herb. Now, none of these seasonings are like overly spicy or uh, filled with sodium. So you're going to see me shake them on pretty liberally. And this is the competition bird shake. Alright, then I'm going to come in and add a little bit of seasoned salt to this. Alright, then I'm going to come in and add a little bit of my thyme leaves to it. Alright, then I just like to take my tongue and just kind of mash it in. You can use your hands, but I really don't like to handle uh, raw meat with my hands if I don't have a glove, so. I'm just going to give that a turn, and then I'm going to season the second side the exact same way. And once I get that all seasoned, then I will be back and move on to my next step. Alright, so I am back. I'm adding the last of my seasoning to the bottom side of this Cornish hen. And this is ready. I'm going to flip this back over and then I'm going to get my apple cut into half and then quartered. And then I'm just going to come and just put two pieces of apple inside of each one of these. I'm going to get the last two put inside of this other one. Alright, and off camera guys, I went on ahead and I cut my, uh, my vegetables up. And I have those on the bottom of a baking sheet. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just put my Cornish hands on the top of these. So it's like I'm using my vegetables as a little rack. Alright, 
All right, I'm going to get the second one on. And then I'm going to uh, get this in the oven. I'm going to cook it on 350. I don't want to cook it too hot. I'm going to cook it on 350 for about an hour, hour and 10 minutes. Okay, guys, I just wanted to come back and show you guys this uh, before I got it in the oven. I saw another YouTuber do this where they put the little foil over the tips of the drumsticks and the wings so that they don't get uh, really burnt during the cooking process. So I just wanted to show you guys that. Alright, so my Cornish hens are now done out of the oven. And I actually let these go for about an hour and uh, 20 minutes just to make sure that they were really done because they did still seem a little cold when I first put them in the oven. So I let them go for about an hour and 20 minutes on 350. And this is how they look. I think they came out absolutely perfect. And this little fall doesn't want to come off. And it actually took a piece of the little <laughs> tip with it, but that's fine. We're not worried about that. Now, I'm not going to be doing a taste test with this. This is going to be part of my Sunday dinner. And once I have the other part of my Sunday dinner cooked, then I'll do a taste test to you guys because... You guys know I've been sick and my taste is gone, but it's coming back just a little bit. So I'm pretty sure by Sunday, Sunday afternoon, evening, I should be feeling uh, pretty much to my old self. Alrighty. All right, guys, so this is just another quick meal that you could put on your table for Thanksgiving if you don't want to do a turkey or another ham or what the case might be. But if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, subscribe if you're new here to the channel, and also follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Cooking and Chilling with Kenny. And guys, hit the notification bell so you'll know when I post a new video. And the next video, guys, is going to be my brown rice. I think you guys are really going to enjoy that. Quick, simple, very easy. So until then, peace.